Imagine your last visit to Orchard Road. Paradise for titas, shopping galore, perplexing art. Now scratch that! Alam na natin yan eh. Bilang comedian, parte ng trabaho ko to be in the know. Or else, I might be a comedian you used to know. Kaya nandito ako ngayon in one of Singapore's neighborhoods, Orchard Road. Baka tanongin mo, bakit Orchard Road? Well, bakit hindi? Meet my bucket list. I'm looking for something fresh. Gaya na sinabi ko kanina, ah, kailangan ko ng new material eh. So, yung mga old-timey classic jokes, sana may new punchline. Like for example, why scream for ice cream? Diba? Or why did the chicken cross the road? But first, sasagutin natin ang pinakaunang item sa aking bucket list. Bakit Orchard Road? Hmm. Alam mo, when I used to do stand-up comedy here sa Singapore, paboritong tambayan ko talaga itong Orchard Road eh, di ba? Nax! I would do my favorite type of shopping, yung uh, window shopping, kasi struggling comedian pa ako nun. Pero what not a lot of people know is that Orchard Road also sells curated experiences. Sa gitna ng shopping district na to is a retail experience you won't want to miss. At kung gusto mo magpamiss o meron ka namimiss, ito ang perfect retail therapy. Design Orchard is an incubation space for Singapore's artists and their most creative pieces. Meron ditong statement shirts for mama, may craft beer for papa, and even uh, may preserved flowers pa for ate. So you can really find unique finds here for everyone in the family. And the best gift of all, some of the shops here give back to the community. Ito mga designs ng tumblers, totes, and mugs. Gawa yan ng mga creative special needs artists. Kung dati iniisip mo, medyo intimidating mag-shopping sa Orchard Road. Singapore doesn't just welcome everyone, they celebrate everyone. Walang OP dito o out of place. Lahat okay. Confessions of a shopaholic, living a life of luxury, it's about being rich. Inexperiences, yun ang specialty ng Singapore. Reimagined experiences. Full of pizzazz. Tingnan niyo yung Dempsey Hill, for example. Ha? Sa unang tingin, mukha siyang retail at lifestyle destination. Pero tingnan niyo ulit. Dati siyang military barracks, and now it's been reimagined to a lifestyle area. Nilagyan lang nila ng sprinkle of innovation, di ba? Parang yung next place natin. Why scream for ice cream? Kasi ang cool! Yes! <laughs> scream for ice cream. This is a 60,000 square foot space filled with Instagram-worthy spots at every corner. Sa sobrang ganda, pati ako, nagmuang photogenic. The Museum of Ice Cream is an ice cream wonderland where you can come in, you can learn about the history of ice cream and facts about ice cream, you can eat unlimited ice cream as much as you want, and we have many different exhibits and places for you to interact and play with. Because whoever you speak to, whether it's someone young or someone old, everyone has a smile on their face when they eat ice cream. It is a dessert that is universally loved. And in that same way, when you come to Museum of Ice Cream, it is a place that everyone can enjoy, no matter how young or old you are. Oh, oh tingnan nyo. Ang saya ko, no? Para naging bata uli. Anyways, yung dessert pala na yan, merienda pa lang. Dahil meron pa tayong next spot that takes fresh ideas to the next level. Why do you think the chicken crossed the road? My name is Oliver Truesdale, uh, head chef at Open Farm Community, uh, Singapore's pioneering farm-to-table restaurant. For your food here in the restaurant, where do you gain uh, inspiration for your dishes? Recently, we opened the farm next door, so oh, yeah. uh, just learning how things grow can lead you down a new path towards treating an ingredient in a different way. Yeah. But creativity comes from our ethics as well. So you don't want to waste something, so you have to find a way to maximize yeah. usage, uh, even if that ingredient is not necessarily something that you're used to cooking with. So you might be able to help me with my question. Because <laughs> you know the age-old old classic joke of why did the chicken cross the road? If you're in the farm, Mm -hmm. They cross the road to come over here. Really, literally. Do they yeah. cross the road alone, or are they carried by the? If, if they the have staff? little babies, they always like walk them across. But when they're just like adults, they'll just sprint across. Everything is grown sustainably. We saw these eggplants over there. Young herbs also are from around, guilt-free on so many levels. Every comedian knows that the secret to a good joke is a good twist, and this restaurant has mastered it. Welcome to Candle Nut. 
Ito ang only peranakan restaurant with a Michelin star. I mean, interiors pa lang. Pag tignan mo, award-winning na itsura eh. Very fancy yung kanyang decor. At ang special about this restaurant is it puts a special twist to peranakan dishes. Why not? Yan ang next sa aking bucket list to discover unique innovations. So, sophisticated. Ayoko pang guluhin yung para meron siyang curry art. Ayoko pang merong latte art ito. Curry art. Half rice muna natin. Alam naman <laughs> talaga ako dito pag curry. Yung sabaw na sa kanin na ganyan. No? When Michelin ate here, I understand kung ba't siya nag-iwan ng star. So if I could award, me, me, Victor Anastasio, the comedian, could just award stars. Congratulations, Kadan. This is the first ever star that I award to a restaurant. And I would call it the Victorian star. So congratulations and cheers to you. Hmm. Gusto ko i-share sa mga ababayan ko. Eh, paano ko ba naman i-share? Ay, di susubuan ko kayo, guys. Say ah. Say ah. Kahit nanonood ka lang, say ah. Yan. So, ang ganda mag-pictures dito sa Emerald Hill kasi may skyscrapers dun. Pero dito, puro traditional houses. I think this is it before we miss the house. I think this is Paolo's house. So, since traditional time, may doorbell dito, but I will use my fist to knock. Hello, what's Tito up? Tito Victor! What's up, sir? Tito, ano pang itsura? Kasi pare-pareho yung itsura oh, outside. Oh, oh. Can you guess kung ano itsura inside? Ah, sige, sige. So, since ganito yung pasad, I'm thinking yung mga may traditional uh, peranakan Chinese window shutters, may may pops of vibrant color. In my head, ah. Uh, Why don't we take a look? Pakita ka lang sa'yo. Yes, para sabi tayo mag-react ng camera. Hindi mo magpapitigan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm inside, I'm inside. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Welcome to Emerald Hill wow. Shop House. <laughs> so it doesn't look like how I describe nope. it. Nope. Um, so, there are houses na ganyan, pero the good thing about Singapore shop houses is because they wanted to preserve yung pagka-heritage niya. Pare-pareho yung labas. So it mimix ko ano yung itsura niya noong unang panahon. Pero inside, may free hand sila mag-renovate. So yung iba modern, yung iba Chinese-inspired, andun yung birds and flowers mo. <laughs> That's why I love living here. Parang may bit of history, pero paglabas mo, progressive ulit. Yes. Sobrang tuwa ako, I'll buy you a drink. Uy! Masagot ko na yung taxi. Uy! Oh. Uh, I have good news, hindi mo na kailangan mag-taxi. Oh, okay. Oo, oh, kasi dyan lang. <laughs> <laughs> hindi ko alam na pwede ka palang mag-shopping by day, tapos paggabi, pwede ka nang mag-shots sa Orchard Road. This was open 1991, right? So one of the bars that opened, they weren't afraid to be first. They weren't afraid to be bold. You're here to be bold. That's what I want to drink. And what I want to try, if you want to be bold, is the 30-day infused original chili vodka. I'm a comedian, that's the theme of the episode. New punchlines to old-timey jokes. You know why is six afraid of seven? Why? I don't know. But I think number five. Not afraid to be bold because it's not a good thing, right? All right, cheers! Cheers, cheers! To boldness! Bro, I'm drunk! Drunk on inspiration, mga dude! Pare Chong, kakaibang Orchard Road experience yun na experience ko ngayon. Talagang kahit anong passion mo, meron something for you here. At ang importante ay nasagot yung aking bucket list. First, why Orchard Road? Dahil hindi lang designer goods pa lang, mauuwi mo dito. Meron ka pang mababaon na mga new perspectives that you can take to heart. Number two, why scream for ice cream? Dahil yung excitement ng creativity can be found in the simplest of things, just like ice cream. Why not? Yan ang pinakamalupit na tanong. Why was six afraid of seven? Ngayon, alam na natin that you can find the answer in looking for the unexpected. Parang yung number five, di ba? Doing things for the first time and it paid off. Grabe, punong-puno na ako ng creative energy. Kailangan kong i-note down at isulat lahat para hindi ko makalimutan. Anyway, that was Victor in Orchard Road. See you in our next adventure.